In this lab, you will be looking at the discharging of a capacitor through a resistor. What we'll be doing is charging our capacitor by hitting this button that says charge capacitor. You'll see that the left side becomes positive and the right side becomes negative. You'll notice your elapsed time is zero. It paused the simulation as soon as you charge your capacitor so that you can measure the voltage and the current that would be coming out of the capacitor at the moment it was charged. You can then resume the simulation. The capacitor will start discharging. At periodic intervals, you want to pause your simulation and take readings of voltage and current. Okay, so 10 seconds in, our voltage has dropped. Our current has dropped. You want to continue this process until you collect between 5 and 10 data points. Once you have completed this capacitor's discharge successfully, change the resistance value. It's good to have some resistors where you have uh, yellow as the third stripe and somewhere orange as the third stripe. I'd like you to do a total of four resistors, so do two orange and two yellow. Once you change your resistor to some new value, you then want to switch over to the full circuit, recharge your capacitor, and collect a new set of data for the new resistor. If you'd like to change the value of the capacitance, just click on the capacitor, hit change capacitor, and you'll either get a larger capacitor or a smaller capacitor. Make sure when you record your capacitor value, you put it in farads. And make sure when you write down the resistance of your resistor, you put that in ohms. When you're all finished collecting your data, you want to create a graph where voltage is on the y-axis and time is on the x-axis. Do it for all the data sets that you collected. Then plot another graph where current is on the y-axis and time is on the x-axis and do that for all the data sets that you collected. 